today saw the second race against the clock in this year's Tour de Romandie. It was a stage in which the team hoped to see Emmanuel Buchmann improve his standing in the general classification. After a solid performance in the time trial, he finished with the ninth fastest time, and also moved up to ninth place in the overall standings. Ebernal was the fastest rider today, crossing the line four seconds ahead of the yellow jersey wearer P. Roglic. The stage while last year's race saw the individual time trial decide the general classification on the last day, this year the race against the clock was held on the fourth day of competition. The 9.9 km long course from Allen to Villars was a continuously uphill category 1 climb, which led each of the riders over 800 meters of elevation. Today's stage was the second race against the clock to be featured in this year's Tour de Romandie, however this stage was expected to see larger time gaps appear in the general classification than those which were produced by the prologue on the first day of racing. The course, which was anything but flat, with an average gradient of around 8% which ramped up to 11% in some sections, put the riders under constant pressure. The team tactics the parkour suited our climber Emmanuel Bookman well. Today's uphill time trial was expected to mix things up in the general classification, and for him, the goal was to keep his distance to the leaders in the GC within reasonable bounds, or even improve his standing. The race after the withdrawal of Eric Basca, Bora Hans Grohe took to the start of the stage with only six riders, three of whom started the race relatively early for the team. Rudy Selig was the first to roll out of the start house in Allen, followed only a few minutes later by Pascal Ackerman and Andreas Schillinger. The next riders who took up the race against the clock were Peter Kenna as well as Pavel Poljanski, the latter of whom arrived at the finish with a time of 29-28, the second best time set by a rider of the team today. Just over an hour later, teammate Emmanuel Buchmann was the last Bora Hans Grohe rider to take to the course for the team. The rider from Ravensburg had the fifth best time at the first intermediate time check with 5.4 kilometers to the finish, 27 seconds behind the fastest rider. He completed the course with an average speed of 22.3 km per hour and ended up in ninth position on the stage, 130 down on the winner of the day E. Bernal, who stopped the clock with a time of 25 to 10. Emmanuel fought hard to improve his standing in the general classification and put in a good performance today, which stands him in good stead for tomorrow's Queen stage. Results 01 E Bernal 25 to 10 02 P Roglic 0 0403 R Port 0 1809 E. Bookman 130 from the finish line, I think I rode a good time trial today. I felt good in the first kilometers of the stage and was able to hold a good tempo. In the finale, however, I wasn't able to keep the pace as high, and in the end finished in ninth place. I'd hoped for a little more, however a top 10 is by no means a bad result. I'm satisfied that I was able to improve my position in the general classification and I'm looking forward to tomorrow's stage, Emmanuel Bookman. Emmanuel did an excellent job today and achieved a very good result in the time trial. In the last two kilometers, he had a bit of trouble keeping up the tempo. However, despite this, he recorded a favorable time. In the general classification, he also improved eight places to now sit in ninth position. We are very satisfied with his achievements today, Stefan Radakala, sport director Emmanuel Bookman shows fighting spirit on the Queen stage of the Tour de Romandie. Bora Hans Grohe misses out on a top placing on the second stage of the Tour de Romandie. The first stage of the Tour de Romandie brings a top 20 placing for Bora Hans Grohe. Tour de Romandie prologue makes for a short but difficult day in the saddle.